it is uh, something on my nose. It is bright and early. It is about six six forty three. Um and I don't expect anybody to jump on because it's so early, but I have to get my kids up in about 15 minutes so that we can get ready to go and start our day. Um, so happy Monday. Kelsey Dietz here for those of you who don't know me. Um, I am here to cover a large variety of topics. Hey Tosh, you are up early. Maybe it's a different time where you're at. <laughs> um, but I'm going to cover those and I'm going to try to do it in about 10 minutes so that I know that you guys are busy and... Um, I want to respect your time as much as I can. Okay, so the first topic I'm going to cover is Yarrow Palm, which is one of the powerhouses that we are going to be promoting this week for um, um, boosting your metabolism. This is how mine looks. Um, however, if you were to buy it, um, you would get it in a bottle that's twice the size and it would have a dropper on it for more easy access because it is a quite thick... Um, oil. It's hard to get out of the little normal um, orifice type um, opening. Um, so uh, this is a blend of yarrow essential oil and cold pressed pomegranate seed oil. So it's the first nutritive duo that um, doTERRA has produced. Oh yes, you got to get to work Tosh. Um, but it is really made to have an inside out approach. So a lot of uh, the uses that we're going to be talking about for Yara Palm are going to be recommended for internal use. So that's one to two drops um, in the morning or at night, um, maybe both, if you're used to taking essential oils. So you might want to start out with one just because it's such a powerhouse um, for each time you take it and then move up to two. I happen to take a lot of essential oils internally, so my body's fairly used to it. So I just started right out with two. But if you haven't started taking essential oils um, internally, you'll want to start out with just one. Um, it's really an, uh, really great for just overall well wellness. It's going to be um, super great for your glowing skin. I am going through a little bit of a detox phase right now, so my skin is not very glowing. <laughs> um, but I definitely use part Yarrow Palm on my skin. If you, haven't, if you haven't caught the other Yarrow Palm video that I did, uh, recently, I put Yarrow Palm all over my face, and it is a nice, pretty blue hue, and it will go on your skin blue, but it, it doesn't stay blue. I'm just going to try to, while we're talking, do this. Um, it, it is really great at inhibiting the elastin and collagen breakdown of your skin, so not only is it really great for you internally, but it's really great for um, your skin externally. So you could, like, I have super dry hands, so... I typically like to put this Yarrow Palm right in here um, on my hands if I can um, because I have this really bad dry skin right here in, in between my thumb and my first finger. And so it's a really great oil for that, but it's really, really great for dry skin. It's going to be really great for those anti-aging properties that we all desire, right? So it's really great for that. You could put it into your um, regular lotion, and it's going to be so great. But I just put it on straight. It already has pomegranate oil in it, and I just put it on straight. And I do that almost probably every other night because I have a whole other oils uh, regimen that I put on my skin as well. If you want to know about that, more about that, let me know. Um, but it's also really helpful for supporting the inflammatory response. And I don't know if you guys know this, but your metabolism is really um, connected to inflammatory response. So if you get your, your inflammatory response sort of under control, your metabolism is going to be boost and vice versa. So uh, Yarrow Palm is really great at supporting that inflammation that we have in our body to go down. So consider, really, really, really consider this oil. It's a very, very um, powerhouse oil. So it's going to be really great for that inflammatory response, really a healthy metabolism because of that. And then it's also going to be really supportive to the, the immune system, cellular support, and nervous system function when taken internally. So my recommended uses for this oil are going to be um, externally, topically on your skin, um, I like to use it on my hands, but I also put it all over my face and then one to two drops in the morning and one to two drops in the evening. Um, it's really great for helping pr promoting feelings of relaxation also. So it's going to be helpful for sleeping and all kinds of stuff. Hi, Harley. Um, 
So it's a really, really great oil, and if you don't have it yet, you should really consider getting this one. I know it's a little bit on the spendier side. Uh, I think it's $95 with your wholesale account, um, but it is in a large bottle, and it will last you quite some time. I have a, I got this in September, and I use it quite often. It's a small 15 ml bottle, and it's about halfway gone. So I love this oil. I do the morning and night um, routine in a veggie cap, and I also put it all over my skin. So it's a fantastic oil. You should really consider doing that. Okay, uh, next, let's talk about goal setting, which I was supposed to do this yesterday, and I'm t I, I just got so entrenched in what my kids were doing and cleaning up the house and getting my mountain of laundry done that I just didn't have it in me to go live yesterday, so I apologize about that. So let's talk about it really quick. Um, goal setting. So when I was in, those of you who don't know this, or maybe you're going to be a little bit surprised, or maybe not, I don't know. When I was in the sixth grade, I got to place the leading role in a play called Cinderella. I used to be blonde, believe it or not. Um, and I got to have a solo, which was a dream is just a wish your heart makes. So I know that song inside and out still, um, but really do, does ring true to me, um, especially right now because I'm doing a lot of goal setting. A dream is when you're sleeping, it is just a wish that your heart, heart is making. Now, even when you're not sleeping, if you're dreaming of all these things, you're, gonna, you're just wishing about it, right? It's just a wish. If you, just, if you don't plan for it, it's just a wish. So really, we got to make goals, which is a dream with its work boots on. That quote is um, directly from Rachel Hollis. And so when I heard her say that, I think probably on one of her morning shows, um, I was like, whoa. So I immediately, I've always been a journal person. I immediately went to the journal and started writing all of my, what I believe to be my goals down. And then I decided to pick one, which is boosting my metabolism, AKA um, maybe trying to lose all my little, my baby love pounds that I uh, got for my children. So I have really been focusing on that this um, January and I'm, instead of making it a wish, I make it, I made it a goal and I wrote it down. I write it down frequently, okay? But here are some of the things that we would consider, we would wanna make sure that we're, here's some of the things specifically that I'm doing that are my goals. And um, I want you guys to go back through the posts and see the, um, thing, the Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday options and things that you could do. So movement. Now, if I don't plan my movement, I, I'm not going to do it. I'm a very busy woman with two twin girls who are five and their brother is only 18 months younger and we are go, go, go in ballerina school and preschool. And I'm not any busier than anybody else, but I just feel like I'm busy. If I don't plan it out, I'm not going to do it. So I plan when I'm going to get my movement in, whether that's I'm going to go run in with my big German Shepherd or I'm going to do a body boss here for 20 minutes after I put my kids down. Whatever it is, I try to plan it out. And if you write it down, as an adult, you feel more um, accountable to do it. So I encourage you to write it down. Now, nourishment. So that means food, right? So here are some of the goals that I have. Avoid sugar, right? And I write them down. Uh, try to eat whole foods, so I'm trying to avoid processed foods. Um, I try to make sure there's lots of colors on my plate when I'm eating, so avoid having things that are all just tan. <laughs> like, but so try to add some carrots or some green beans and some berries, I don't know. Try to put as many colors on your plate as you possibly can. Um, and then, um, I don't know if you know this, but um, emotionally, our emotions are significantly tied to our metabolism. So if we are emotionally down and out, our metabolism is going to slow way, 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 way down. So if you could use um, whatever tips and tricks that you're using to help your emotion emotionally be prepared for um, boosting your m metabolism, that would be fantastic. So here's some of the things that I do. I journal, I journal a lot. Um, I use a lot of oils to help me emotionally these days. I didn't, wasn't always a believer in the emotional properties of essential oils, but if you um, want to hear more about that, let me tell you about some of the things that have happened with my children and yada, yada, yada. So, or look at my myrrh, look, search myrrh in the essential empowerment, you'll see my journey there. Um, so some of the oils that I use emotionally obviously are going to be balance. I love elevation. I love serenity. I love vetiver emotionally. 
So just you have to figure out what um, emotionally that you are desiring and you got to figure that out and you got to use them. You got to use them all the time. I'm a marjoram girl. I love me some marjoram. So that one I use a lot most emotionally. Uh, another goal that I have is hydration. So um, if you go back through the post, you can see that the recommended um, amount of water that you should drink is half your body weight in ounces per day. So, and I'm just going to pick random numbers, okay? So I do not weigh this. If you weighed 100 pounds, then you would drink 50 ounces in water per day. So um, that's a great, great goal to start with. I have since increased it from half, and I'm trying to get a gallon in every day um, and not drink anything else besides my Bulletproof coffee and water. That's it. That's what I'm trying to go for. Okay, so that's a goal. I have it written down, and I work at it and track it every day. So if you're making um, goals, you should have an overall goal. So I am a fit and healthy and then whatever pounds. That's my overall goal, right? But I also have specific other goals that are going to help me reach that. So if you're setting goals, you should try to have them be SMART goals. So specific, measurable, something you can be accountable for, something that you can um, retain, right? And they're timely. Okay, so I might have gotten some of those wrong. But... What I mean is make sure that they're specific. So if you want to drink more water, I'm going to drink this much water per day. That's specific and measurable, okay? Um, if you want to reach a certain weight, I'm going to reach this weight by this date. Like specific, measurable, and you are accountable to a date, right? So you want to make sure that you're getting some of that stuff in. And then another thing that's really helping me, and uh, this might not be a popular um, tip, but I weigh myself every morning. So I get up and go to the bathroom, strip down so I have nothing else on, and weigh myself every day. But that helps me to know every day what did I do or not do that was helping me to reach my goal, right? Uh, sometimes I don't like the skill. This morning I don't love it. Um, but other mornings I'm like, yay. So um, just I know typically in our brains we hate doing it, but if you do it every day and you see the numbers going in your direction because of some of the other goals that you're doing, um, you might start liking it like I do. Okay, another uh, goal that you should have is to get seven to eight hours of sleep. That's what I have. It's not working well for me right now, but I'm working on it. I consider it. So some of the oils that I use for sleeping, marjoram, serenity, vetiver. Hey, Jan. Um, lavender and green mandarin, juniper berry and bergamot. 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 Whatever, however, potato, potato, right? Um, and then the last thing is meal prep. Now, some of you are looking at me like, Kelsey, you are not meal prepping. That is a true story. But I have my groceries that I know that I can put together things very simply. I can't be making crazy things, right? But I know specifically what I have in my fridge. I know that what I can make for dinner. So by the time I get off work, I already know what I'm going to make for dinner. So, and I'm going to take my lunch to work. I know what I can have for a snack, yada, yada, yada. I gotta get this wrapped up, okay? Uh, anyway, because my husband's gonna be coming out any second. Okay, so make sure you're setting some realistic goals, make sure you're writing them down, um, and we're gonna help you boost your metabolism with these oils and things, okay? Next, I wanna talk to you about oils dreams, and this is gonna be quick. Um, so there are a large spectrum of people on what their oil dreams are. Now, you might be saying, what does that mean? Now, if you're a customer, and you just love and use your oils, that's great. Hey, Auntie. Um, great, do that, right? Um, but if you, if you don't know this, doTERRA is also a business. So I am a business owner, my own doTERRA business owner, okay, because I have specific oil streams. Here's the way that they can um, vary. You can love and use oils and use them until your heart's content. Use them with no point system and or get on the point system and get free stuff, however you wanna do it. You can work to get your oils paid for, um, and if you want to do that, reach out to whoever invited you here and they can help you um, get your family and friends using essential oils uh, because we know we all need them and we love them. They can help you do that. Or you can be like me and have a very specific goal to replace your income and just be working doTERRA instead of somewhere that somewhere else, right? Okay, so my journey has been a long uh, journey and it wasn't overnight, so everyone starts where they start 
Um, and you can stay where you're at forever. If you just love and use oils, just do that. Um, but here's how mine started. I, my son got RSV very soon after he got pneumonia, so I started using oils. I loved them. And then I wasn't on LRP for a long time, but then I was encouraged by my friend Stephanie, Steph, uh, to use the loyalty rewards system so I could get free stuff, right? So I did that. And then I went to Cleveland for a work trip uh, to talk about teamwork and a conference or whatever. And I met, we met a gentleman by the name of Brandon. I can't remember his last name, but he is a filmographer or a videographer for doTERRA. And uh, anyways, he started talking to Steph about the business because she's been um, in the doTERRA business for quite some time. They started chatting, and then when we got when we touched gr ground, for, we were from Cleveland to Salt Lake because he lives in Salt Lake. When we touched ground in Salt Lake, I looked over and I said, "How come you haven't asked me if I want to um, replace my income?" And she's like, "Well, do you?" And so that's where my how my journey started, and it wasn't overnight. It took quite a long time. So just make sure that however your journey looks, you're reaching out to whoever invited you to start using DoTerra, and do that so that we can they we they can uh, be supportive to you so however you do that so because it might just look like hey i have five friends or family members that i would love to help start using essential oils and would that help me get my oils paid for you you bet you betcha so um host a class that's what it might look like that's all or maybe you don't want to um there's and there's all kinds of way to get free stuff so just um consider those things Okay, so we've covered a lot. Yarrow Palm, gotta get it. Goal setting, write it down. It's gotta be specific, specific, attainable, measurable, timely, right? Um, and um, consider what your oil streams are. If you're a user and you love using oils, great, fantastic. If you meet someone else who wants to use them and you don't have any desire to um, earn some free stuff or money, forward them to whoever invited you to doTERRA, fantastic. Uh, or Figure out where your where your oil streams are taking you. So consider all these things and love y'all and stay tuned for later this afternoon. We're gonna be talking about all the other products, overview of all the other, pro other products in this week's event and um, maybe some yummy tea options that you can make in the evening to help with your metabolism. So thanks for listening to me. I tried to keep it short. Unfortunately, I had because I spent so much time with my kids playing Barbies and puppet sock puppet shows. Uh, I didn't go live yesterday, so had a lot to cover this morning. So I'm going to go get my children up. My son has a dentist appointment today, and then I'm off to work. Peace out.